For thermographers, it is important to set your focus correctly before saving an image. You cannot change the clarity of your focus once you capture the thermal image. There are two ways to adjust your focus. Press the top button on the front of the camera to activate the autofocus. For the autofocus to work properly, the target should have good thermal contrast, meaning needs to be a distinct difference between warm and cool areas on the object. Manually adjust the focus of the camera by turning the lens barrel until you obtain the proper focus. There are four different view modes in this series. To navigate the image mode, tap the bottom of the camera to bring up the main menu, then select the image mode icon. You'll have a thermal MSX or multispectral dynamic imaging that superimposes the visual image under the thermal image. For example, a circuit breaker has many numbers and it can be seen in a normal thermal image mode only. But by MSX, you can see even the small numbers in the circuit breaker. It overlays the infrared with the digital image and shows some detail from both images. This is beneficial when inspecting systems like breakers or motors. Thermal only is a pure thermal image that is set based on the hottest and coldest object in the frame. It will store both infrared and digital images at the same time. Picture in picture, focus carefully for the best visual to thermal picture alignment. It is a very useful tool for highlighting the problem areas while providing visual information for the problem. And last is the digital camera which displays the visible image. For new thermographers, we recommend staying in the thermal only mode for now as this will help you better understand what is required for proper focus. You can also change the image mode during post-processing in FLIR Tools or FLIR Tools Plus. Adjust the level or brightness and span or contrast of the thermal image. This allows you to highlight important areas of thermal detail. By default, the camera is set to automatic adjustment mode. This will automatically set the scale based on the hottest and coldest object in the frame. Take note that there are times that manual adjustment will be necessary. This is when there are extraneously hot or cold objects within the same field of view. Toggle the navigation pad up and down to manually adjust the scale. Tap the bottom of the LCD screen to bring up the main menu and navigate or tap the color palette icon. You will have different options such as the following. The iron palette is most used because of the good balance of thermal sensitivity and spatial resolution. The rainbow palette is helpful when significantly considering the differences among certain temperatures. You may also change the color palette during post-processing in FLIR Tools or FLIR Tools Plus. But regardless which palette you select, this may still be changed later on your save images either on the camera or on the processing software. This thermal image offers several kinds of temperature measurement tools such as the no measurement, the center spot meter to know the temperature of a certain spot. You can move the spot around the image by simply dragging it with your finger. The hot spot box which provides the maximum temperature inside the displayed box. Cold spot temperature box with the minimum temperature value in an area. You can also adjust the size of the box by dragging the corners outward and two user preset options. You can also set an alarm inside the box, add the spot, box, delta, or a circle. Isotherms highlight the areas of the images that meet the temperature criteria the user has set. You also need to adjust temperature measurement parameters such as the following, the emissivity, Reflected temperature, relative humidity, atmospheric temperature, object distance, and external IR window compensation. 
These parameters affect temperature readings, especially emissivity, and reflected temperature. Therefore, it is important to set them correctly. With our collected special courses, you will know the importance of each parameter and how to set them correctly. Be sure to check them out. Press the button located beneath the autofocus button in front of the camera to capture an image. A good tip to remember, try to remain still as possible while doing so. Any abrupt or excessive movement may blur the digital and thermal image photos as they are captured at the same time when pressing the button. To delete the image, navigate the archive, then select the image you want to delete. Select the trash icon, then press OK. For documenting your work, you can change the settings of your visual thermal save. You can add other measurement tools, add note and text comments, which will be automatically added in your report. Voice annotations, which is the easiest and fastest way to note important image information. You can do sketch, and you can also view the image information, which includes the date and time of your save image, location, where the image was taken. Occasionally, you will notice the live image freezes for a moment. A shutter sound can also be heard during this brief interruption and the word calibrating will appear at the top of the display. This is called non-uniformity correction or NUC. Thermal energy from the surrounding environment or that is generated inside the camera can affect the stability of the detector array inside. This can impact the integrity of the temperature data displayed on the image, causing areas within the field of view to appear artificially warmer or cooler. The NUC is a process that resets the detector, so all pixels return the same uniform thermal data, providing you with a better image that is more thermally stable. You can do NUC manually by covering the lens to have a uniform target then hold the recall button for one second. The detector will then reset and the camera will return to live imaging mode. The camera information that contains the information about the camera, part number, serial number, and more. Learn more about thermography with our wide collection of online courses. Visit www.infraredlearning.com Call us or send an email for more information. See you on the next video.